The following program is intended for informational purposes only and not as a standalone tool. Please refer to the Flexco website and other Flexco and Rockline literature for more detailed instructions. Prior to any work on your conveyors, make sure that the power has been turned off and that the belt is locked out. Follow other safety precautions as outlined in the operator's manual. And be sure to put on all recommended safety gear before beginning any belt maintenance procedure. When you're ready to begin, gather your tools and the materials shipped to you with the RDP-1 diagonal plow. You will need a tape measure, a marker, a large adjustable wrench, and a drill or torch welder. The first step is to position the plow on the conveyor. Try to place it in a flat area as close as possible to the tail pulley or an area where material is needed to discharge. The plow should be at least six inches behind a flat return roller. One more thing to keep in mind, the point where you mount the plow should have at least five inches of vertical space between the belt and the conveyor structure. Now that you've selected a location, it's time to position the plow. Generally, it should be installed at a 45 degree angle, but this may vary depending on the width of your structure. Make sure that both ends of the plow extend past the belt's edges and that there are clear areas on both sides of the structure for your mounting brackets. Now you're ready to attach the mounting shaft to the plow frame. Start by threading two mounting shaft nuts onto the shaft until three inches of the shaft is exposed. Next, place a lock washer against the lower nut and slide the mounting shaft down through the hole in the plow frame. On the portion of the shaft now extending below the frame, place another lock washer and nut. Tighten them up to the frame, then repeat this process on the other side of the plow. In this step, you'll attach the mounting brackets to the shafts, then affix the brackets to the conveyor structure. First, install nut and lock washer onto the shaft, then slide on one of the mounting brackets. Keep in mind that brackets are reversible to allow for two different mounting positions. Choose the one that will allow for free vertical movement of the plow frame once it is installed. Now, Put another lock washer and nut on the shaft, then snug the nut down to the bracket. Slide the entire assembly into the selected location on the belt. Rotate the assembly until both brackets align with the structure. Mark the positions of the bracket holes on the conveyor structure. Drill holes at the locations you marked or cut with a torch. Then bolt the plow to the structure. Now you'll want to tighten the top nuts on both brackets until the plow is sitting evenly on the belt. Snug the bottom nuts up to the bracket and tighten them, locking the plow into position. Run the belt and check that the plow is cleaning effectively. Additional adjustments may be required. To raise or lower the plow, simply adjust the nuts on the mounting brackets. For more information on the RDP-1 diagonal plow installation, go to www.flexco.com or contact your authorized Flexco distributor.